In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a round dish scrubby using tool. I am going to use a spool of tool that is six inches wide to create the scrubby. You could cut it in half if you like to um, have three inch strips, but I am going to use the whole width of the tool to create the scrubby. So no cutting involved, really easy. Um, if you don't have the spool of tool, um, no worries. You can actually buy tool by the yard um, and have, and then you can cut it into strips. So to create this round scrubby, um, you will need a size J or 10, six millimeter crochet hook. And I actually already did a video that shows you how to make this round dish scrubby. But someone had mentioned that they would like to see written instructions for this scrubby. So I went ahead and let them know that I will go ahead and redo the video. And this time I will have written instruction notes across the top as I work along in this tutorial showing you how to make the scrubby. So I hope that will be very helpful for you. And I'm hoping that since... Um, I have improved my lighting since I first started making my videos. I hope that this one will be easier to follow along and easier to see the individual stitches. So you can see that you can uh, make very pretty colors. I have one here in peach. This one is a yellow. And then this one is pink. And this one is a coral. And I really love that color. Um, I like all of the colors. Um, and then, if you want, you can change colors each round and then do a different color on the edge, in, which I think really makes a very pretty scrubby. So you can make the solid colors, which is what I'm going to show you today. In a future tutorial, I can show you how I did this one. Um, it's basically the same pattern. You just change colors per round and you do the edge. In. The edge is a little bit different than I did that. So I will go ahead and show you in a future tutorial how to do this one. So let's go ahead and get started with the solid scrubby. So I'm going to go ahead and set these aside. And what we're going to do is we're going to begin with our tool spool. And I have a little basket here that fits just perfect. So I can just pull it along as I go and crochet along. And that keeps it from rolling on the floor. So let's go ahead and we're going to begin with a slip knot. And I'm going to create my scrubby in this tutorial in the color of orange. Okay, so what we want to do is we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to join with a slip stitch to that first chain. Okay, so we've got a little ring now. So what you want to do is chain one, and we're going to do 12 single crochets into the center of this ring. So that's one, two, three, and I'm holding my tail along the work, and I'm crocheting it in as I go. That way I will not have to weave it in at the end. Okay. So that's one, two, three, that's four, five, six, seven, all right, do that again, my tail was getting a little tangled there, all right. Okay, so let's count. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, so now I'm going to join with a slip stitch to that first stitch that we did. Their first single crochet. Okay, that completes round one. So now for round two, I am going to chain one. I'm going to do a half double crochet into that same stitch. 
and then a half double crochet into the next one and a half double crochet into the next stitch so we are going to do one half double crochet in every single stitch around to complete round two so just one half double crochet in each stitch so when we are done with this round we will have 12 half double crochets okay so I'm just going to keep working around okay we're almost done with this round Okay, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We have one more half double crochet to finish this round. Okay, so now that I have my 12 half double crochets, I am going to join with a slip stitch to that first half double crochet that we did. And that completes round two. And this is really, really easy. It just takes three rounds to complete. And we actually are going to make two because we want it to be double thick. So we make two identical rounds and then we connect them together. Okay, so now for round three, you're going to chain two. Now, in the previous tutorial, um, what I did is we chained two here, or actually three, and we counted that as a first double crochet. But in this case, um, I'm just going to do a slight change because I find that it looks better. We're not going to count this chain two as our first stitch because if you look at this one, there's a little bit of a gap right there where we did the chain two. So I did these with, when I did not count that, and you can see it looks a lot nicer. This, this, you don't have that gap. So I just think it looks a lot better. So that's the only change I did. It's a real subtle change, um, but I think it looks a lot nicer. And you'll see what I mean when we finish it. Okay, so that's the chain two. We're not counting that as a stitch. So now we're going to do two double crochets into this first stitch here. And then we'll do two double crochets into the next stitch. And then two double crochets into the next one. So for this round, we are going to do two double crochets into every single stitch to the end of the round. So at the end of this round, we will have 24 double crochets. And of course, th that chain two as well. We will not be counting that. So we will have 12, I mean 24 double crochets. Okay, so we're going to do two double crochets into the next stitch. And then two double crochets into this one. Okay, two double crochets into the next one. So it's just essentially the same, two double crochets every single stitch for this third round. So this is really, really easy to make. And then that way you can make lots and lots of scrubbies. As you can see, I've already been doing that, making them in all different colors, and they're so pretty. All right. So now let me go ahead and count my stitches so far. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So this one, I need two stitches. So now, I should have 24 double crochets. Let me double check. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Perfect. So now I'm going to join with a slip stitch to the top of that first double crochet that we did. And there you have your round to scrubby. That's the first half. So now we need to create a second one. And I already did that. So here is my second one because we need two. 
because we want it to be, you know, double thick. That way it's a nice thick scrubby, just perfect for doing doing the dishes. So now, let me go ahead and, um, this one I made but I didn't fasten off. So let me insert the hook back in, tool over, pull that through, give it a tug to tighten it down. And there you have one half of your scrubby. And then here's your second one. So now, we're not going to fasten this one off because we're going to join the two together with slip stitches. So as you can see, if these um, are the right sides and these are the wrong sides. So you can see that they are curling up. The part that's curling up, like a little bowl or basket, is the right side. So when we put them together, it will look like this. Okay? So what we're going to do is go ahead and take that little tail from that one behind it and just tuck that in between so we can hide that in between so now what you're going to do is you're going to place them on top of each other like that and take the crochet hook and insert it into the v-stitch both loops the front and the back loop of the one behind it and then do tool over and pull it through all the way through and pull it through that loop with a slip stitch to connect the two. Okay, so now you're going to insert your hook into the next stitch, the one that's closest to you, underneath both the front and back loop. And then you're going to insert it underneath both loops, the front and the back loop of the piece behind it. So go through both of them. And then you'll do tool over, pull that through, and then pull it through that loop, and do a slip stitch. So we're going to do that all the way around. So go ahead and insert your hook underneath the two loops there, and then the two loops on the one behind it. Tool over, pull that through, and then pull it through that loop. And there's your slip stitch. So we're going to do that all the way around. slip stitch and insert the hook underneath both loops here both loops on the one behind it pull up a loop and pull that loop right through that loop that was already there and do a slip stitch so we're doing that all the way around oops let me try that again insert the hook underneath that one and the one behind it. Do a slip stitch. So you can see we're connecting them together with slip stitches. Okay, just keep doing slip stitches all the way around until it's connected. And I just love these dish scrubbies. They're so pretty. Um, many many different colors you can do and of course you can see that you can change the colors each round and they're even prettier when you do that and like I said I will show you in a future tutorial how I did that one okay so we're just gonna keep going all the way around So if you do want to see the first tutorial I did, um, and that one we did a, I did a yellow one. So if you'd like to see that first tutorial that I made with the same scrubby that did not have the instructions, just go ahead and click on the I card in the corner and that will bring you right to that tutorial. And like I said, this one's the same, it's just this is going to be the improved one because I think we're going to have better lighting, it'll be easier to see the individual stitches and we're going to have the instructions notes scrolling across the top so very very pretty um, these scrubbies are very very pretty and they're very nice because they're easy to wash you can just wash them in the washing machine and then you don't even need to put them in the dryer because they do dry very very quickly you can just let them air dry after you wash them in your machine. 
and I know that um, a lot of people will wash them in their dishwasher and they put them in the top shelf of the dishwasher when they run it I would not recommend putting them in the bottom because the bottom of your dishwasher does get very hot it actually gets hotter than the top one the top shelf so you definitely want to make sure you put it in the top shelf if you decide to use the dishwasher to wash your um, scrubbies and these things are so nice you just keep using them over and over again until they fall apart and mine last quite a while actually um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this tail because I'm finished doing my slip stitches all the way around so I'm going to cut off the tail and now I'm just going to do tool over pull it through give it a tug to fasten off so now I just need to weave in the tails to finish let me go ahead and do that just gonna give it a little twist so I can insert it into my crochet needle okay so now I'm just going to go ahead and weave them in So I'm just going to weave it along. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and cut that. And that one I'll need to weave in as well. I, mean, I tried to tuck that one in, but it snuck back out. <laughs> I was trying to tuck that in between the two while I worked along, but it snuck out on me. So we are going to just go ahead and weave that one in too. So I'm going to give it a little twist so that way I can feed it through the crochet needle. And if you don't have one of these, of course you could just use your crochet hook. To pull it through. Okay. All right. Go ahead and cut a little two. That loose piece there, and there you have your round dish scrubby made from tool. I hope that you found the tutorial helpful today. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, and I hope that you will subscribe. That way, you'll get a notification when I upload my next tutorial. So there you have your beautiful round dish scrubbies. So now I'm ready to do my dishes. I hope you have a great day. Thank you for watching.